a smooth sphere weighing 300 Newton is resting against a smooth walls as shown in figure. The reaction at support A is okay. Now, here, my dear students, see, understand one thing that it is given smooth sphere and smooth wall. That means there will be no friction force. Okay, it has become very simple question now. So, it is given as this is one sphere. There is one wall, smooth wall and there is one more wall is there and this wall, this particular wall is making an angle 60 degree with the horizontal. Okay, this is joint O. Here is given this particular point is given as A, this particular point is given as B here. Okay. Now, what is asked to me? Uh, its weight is given, weight of this particular sphere is given as 300 Newton and I hope you understand that weight will act from the center and will be in the vertical downward direction. So, now, now see I am going to consider equilibrium of this particular sphere that is given as weight as 300 Newton. Now, see at this particular point there will be force, contact force and as this is smooth, so there will not be any friction, there will be only normal reaction and normal reaction will pass through the center. So, it is going to be the direction, it is going to be the direction that is say normal reaction at B. Now, apart from this, at if you consider at this joint A, this joint A, hope you understand that it is going to be in the normal direction and normal direction as wall is in the vertical direction, normal will be in the horizontal direction that is at N A. Now, apart from this, it is angle, uh, so here is going to be weight that is given as 300 Newton, 300 Newton. Now, the sphere, if the sphere is in equilibrium, as these three forces are concurrent, so I just need to make sure that the forces has to be equal to 0 because moment will already be equal to 0 because they are concurrent. Now, so okay, while finding out the magnitudes, okay, there are two unknown forces only. So, if I know about the orientations, it will be very easy for me to find out the other two forces. Now, okay, hope you all understand that this particular angle is going to be 60 degree. We have studied from the class 11th itself. Now, this is, okay, now we see this angle is going to be 60 degree and if this angle is going to be 60 degree, hope you all understand this angle is also going to be 60 degree. It is fine. Now, apart from this, so if this is 60 degree, it is going to be 30 degree. Okay, let me consider this particular, uh, I, what I have taken as a j point O. Consider, I need to consider the equilibrium of point O. Here are three forces. 300 Newton. Okay. Now, now I wish to calculate this particular unknown forces with the help of Lamy's theorem. So, if you wish to apply the Lamy's theorem, I need to you to know that the forces must be either converging or the point or diverging. So, one is given as diverging. So, better to take all these as diverging. So, it is going to be the normal reaction at B and it is going to be the normal reaction at A. Now, what is this angle is already given as 90 degree. What is given? This angle is given as 30 degree. If this is 30, this is going this is going to be 90. This total is going to be 120. And if it is 120, it is going to be 150. What is asked to me? That is uh, reaction at A. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now you write normal reaction at A is divided by sine 120 is going to be 300 divided by sine of 150, it is going to be normal reaction at B divided by sin of normal reaction at B divided by sin of 90. Normal reaction at A is asked that is going to be 300 into sin 120 divided by sin 150 and it will come out equal to 519.615 Newton. So, it is given as 519.62. Okay, it is kind of numerical data. So, it is I have taken as 519.62 Newton.